Hey London Elementary, it's Mr. Orr, I'm the Dean of Students here, and uh, this is not a shark video, uh, and also not a video highlighting everything that's going on in our school, but we do want to talk about something kind of serious, and that is attendance. And I have here Mr. Uh, Gargat, did I say your name correctly? Correct, Mr. Right. Gargat. Awesome. And he is our, our truancy officer here at London Elementary, and I want him to tell us a little bit about uh, uh, attendance, and so we get a little bit of understanding uh, as to what's expected. So, Mr. Gargat, could you talk a little bit about the, the new law that was just recently passed and some of the expectations from that? Yes, I appreciate the opportunity to discuss this with you. Sure. Uh, House Bill 410 went into effect last year, and House Bill 410 was a state of Ohio law uh, changing how we do and track attendance in the school districts in the state of Ohio. And uh, it's important that children in school, as often as they can be in school, right. uh, to learn. So the, the basis of the law uh, states that there's three levels of attendance concern for a child. If a child misses more than 10% of a school year at any time, um, that's a concern with you and me to make sure that we're trying to find out why the child is not in school right. because they're not learning. Absolutely. Uh, so that's a 10%. Um, if a child misses more than 38 hours in a calendar month, which is about six days, or 65 hours in a school year, mm -hmm. uh, which is about 10 days, and everything is in hours now, it's not in days. Right. So the reason is it's important that a child is in the school as many hours as they can be. So if a child misses 38 hours in a calendar month or 65 hours in a calendar year, um, then they would be considered an excessive absence. And that could also be a concern that we would have to get in touch with the parent and sit down and find out what's going on and why the child is missing school. Right. Uh, the third level, which is probably the most serious of concern, is called habitual truancy. And that's when a child has missed um, school without excuse. In other words, they have no valid excuse of why they're missing school and they're considered unexcused. And a habitual truant is any child that has missed uh, more than uh, five consecutive days or 30 hours in a row, um, 42 hours in a calendar month, which is about seven days, or if a child has missed 72 uh, hours in a calendar year, which is 12 days. So it's 30, 42, and 72 hours. If they have missed any of those hours, uh, unexcused absence, that was what we consider an habitual truant. Uh, and then that would be of a tennis concern. Okay, so here's my question. Since we're dealing in hours, let's say that the student has missed partial uh, day. Should they just go ahead and miss the rest of the day just because, you know, they're, they're only going to come in for part of the day, or is it better that they come in for That's a good question. Uh, I see this quite often. Uh, in the old days, um, if a child... Uh, was going to go for a doctor's appointment or something and they weren't going to get back till 12 o'clock to school most of the time parents may just not bring the child back to school because mm -hmm. it would count as a full day of school well Roy not anymore because now it's all on hours so it's important even if that child can come back for a couple hours of school in the day that's going to be beneficial to that child because they're not going to be out learning and then the total hours are cumulative so it's critical if a parent um, is taking their child out for a couple hours for an appointment or something like that, we would really recommend that that child uh, be allowed to come back to school and finish out the school, school day so those hours can be, you know, they can get those hours in and, and, and are learning. So basically every hour counts. Every hour saying. counts. It's really critical that the children here back in school, uh, they're in school as often as they can be in school. Um, we want children to be in school. This is not a punitive thing for parents or for children. Um, studies have shown that uh, the more often a child is in school, um, the better learning, more learning is taking place, and they have greater chance for success down the road. Absolutely. So just a reminder that uh, any absence does count, um, even with the doctor's note, right? That is correct. Um, we want to make sure, um, you know, again, unexcused absences are of a concern with me mm -hmm. because that's an indicator that we have maybe an issue that we need to look at. Um, if a child uh, hits the 10% or becomes an excessive absent, uh, that's with or without excuse or habitual truant, um, those could trigger the next step, which is scheduling an attendance intervention right. meeting with the parent. And in the attendance intervention meeting, we would schedule a meeting with the parent. They would come in and we would discuss what's going on, try to get some facts of the case, uh, discuss some strategies that we can, we can use. Uh, to help that child be in school a little bit more often. Absolutely. Well, that's just a, a quick update. I want to thank Mr. Gargak for coming in and talking to us a little bit about that. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call here at the office, or we'll go ahead and we'll have uh, Mr. Gargak's name right underneath us here on our video. 
Uh, but uh, thanks again for coming in. I appreciate it. I could add one more thing. Sure it's thing. really critical um, that if a child is going to be out absent for a legitimate reason, um, that a parent does contact uh, the London Elementary School to report their child yes, sir. Uh, and also follow up. London policy is to follow up with a note uh, the next day. If those two things are done, um, chances are your child will be an excused absent, and then we know that your child is safe. Absolutely. Well, thanks again for, uh, for stopping by the visit, and we thank you all for watching the video. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.